I love Cindy Kim bitch because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to do. funny, mama. <laughs> so, now that was a good Hey everybody! Welcome to Hi. Two Funny Mamas. <laughs> Two Funny Mamas. We always mess up, don't we? Hi y'all, yeah. I'm Kim Ripley. And I am Sherry Shepard, and we'd love to welcome you to Two Funny Mamas. This is much more professional than we were last week. I was asleep when Chris came on, and you were doing something in Atlanta. I don't know what the heck you was doing. I was so irritated. Don't worry about what I was doing in Atlanta, number one. We don't start the show <laughs> like that, first of all. Huh. Second of all, you done rushed me into this podcast. I don't have any eyelashes on, and we letting people well, see the truth. Yeah, but third of all, everybody is always complaining, including you, about every time you have your lashes on. We spend a third of the time talking about, why my lash like this? One straight, <laughs> one coming off. Let me try to put it back on like a Band-Aid. Oops. Look, it ain't together. So okay. I love yeah. you with no lashes on, Kim. I really, you look very pretty today. You look very natural and very, very pretty. Really? Yes, you oh. do. You look great. Okay. You look Thank really you. good, Kim. And I, you know what would set you apart? Like your natural pretty. Why is the cleaning ladies in here? Hold on one second. Let me close this door. Really? Never you fails. Stop the Never. cleaning lady? You gonna say that on our our humbled a uh, podcast? The cleaning lady? D's. I said D's. Oh. Plural. Oh, they, oh, more than one. Wow. You all, I don't, tell you I don't what, have She has network here. TV. I clean up my own house, just like all my listeners do. And that's why I oh, fell and I almost broke, that's why I almost broke my ankle. Cause you cleaned up your own house. It was all, it was <laughs> no, no, it's this one um, cleaning lady, um, but she brings like four women with her. Which Cause is so junky. Oh. Cause I'm so junky. <laughs> um, and she's so sweet, Carmen. It's there's a lot of tips at Christmas, but uh, right. you know why? Cause people, I want everybody to know we single mothers, and we work hard. So we, I know there's two things I always said I needed in life. I said I need no, it's three things now. But yeah. as long as I work hard, the only three things I have to have if I make enough money is. I have to have a housekeeper every now and then. They didn't got to live with me, but I need somebody to help me clean up. I yes. got to have an occasional ride in the limo and got to be able to fly, fly first class every now and then. These aren't that simple. You Three know, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I think being single mothers and working, one time I was so overwhelmed. Like it was like, I just was crying all the time. And I remember talking to somebody who I really respected. She was a pastor's wife. And I was like, I got to clean and I'm cooking it. And she said, why do you have to clean? Why do you have to cook? And I said, because that's what I was taught. And she said, but you work two and three jobs. You make the money where you can hire somebody to help you alleviate so that your time is free to be able to do things that bring in money. So, and like, she really changed my paradigm. It was almost like, oh, I'm not supposed paradigm. to. Paradigm, we're going to use paradigm. Alexa, what does paradigm mean? <laughs> and is Sherry using it? Usually defined as a set of forms, all of which contain a particular element, especially the set of all inflected forms. Based Thank on you. You're not using it correctly in the right yes, sense. Paradigm. It changed the reflective form. It changed it, my reflective Kim. form. What, I'm sorry. Chris? No, Paradigm was Dollar General's rival until it got snuffed out in the late 70s. Thank you. <laughs> that's what Kim would have said. That's yeah, that's what Kim would have said. I'm, I was going to be All like, right. I'm not. So the pastor changed your paradigm. She changed the way, my, my, the way I viewed things. And I said, I work really hard. Cleaning a house is not my forte. And there are some people, that's how they make their living. That's how they feed their families. Some people love, like C. Mickey, everybody, you guys all know C. Mickey, and we get on there and we laugh with her. She's an executive at a big company. She's married 25 years. She's raising her children. She She's uh, helped Kim write. They're pitching things together. But C. Mickey loves cleaning a house. She loves organizing. Yes. I've never seen it. You guys, yes. if you were to meet C. Mickey and you let her come up to your house and spend the night, you would wake up in the morning and everything would be organized in no, your no. home. She, she here today. She, you know what she did? You What'd know she what do? she did? What'd Yesterday, she do? and I couldn't what? stop it. I didn't know what to say. 
she what? cleaned out my freezer. And then, you know, I got the pandemic like, freezer and she threw see, away, everything. it's expired, it's expired, but she cleaned it out in 15 minutes. But I had an attitude because everything was all neat and labeled and cleaned out. I Let me tell, tell you, you, see, Mickey gets an orgasm from cleaning a house. Like every time I come over your house after see Mickey, there's always little red baskets with labels and everything's potato chips, salt pepper like you have so many things that you bought seven of and see mickey will put it in a red basket with a label oh, you walk in your room Never your room looks it. like a volcano exploded and you will walk in your bedroom and be like oh my gosh you got a huge bedroom because see mickey loves to pick up stuff so for me and, and b flat is the same way b flat can't stay in your house without organizing it i come back yes, and i go where are my like panties that. yes b mickey has folded up every bra every pair of underwear She's organized my shoes. So for me, I'm like, why are we trying to do something that's not natural to us when there are people who love doing this and they've made a business out of it? There's They have a business, a cleaning service. So anyway, I think that sometimes we, as women, we try to take on so much, but it's not helpful. It wears us down. And it's like, if you are able to do something that you can afford or that you could get delegate to someone else to free up time for you to do something bigger or better, do it. If you're able, yeah. if somebody says, let me watch your kids and you trust them, give the kids yes, so you can yes. do self care. I mean, let we, we try to take on so much. So anyway, I, I did want to say this. Ooh, ooh, oh, there's C. Mickey. Look, look what in the world? Look at us at the, that was us at the, uh, Chris, why you take it down? Oh, you made it smaller. That's Where were you at guys the, at? For our listeners, that's us at the Roosevelt Hotel at the Image Awards uh, after party. Um, I had just pulled up, uh, you know, my you new like car. in your car? Yep, that's my new car. It's a, a white, <laughs> let me, wait, look at that, it's a white, then I got to read it. Is that a Rolls okay. Royce? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Is that a Bentley? No, I think that's a Rolls Royce. I think they're different. But somebody parked their Rolls Royce up there and I stood next to him and took a picture. I sure did. You would, oh, was that the, when you had to pick up your image award, UNC Mickey? Yeah. Look at us. Oh my God. You guys look amazing. Can I say before we even start, because I want you to tell us about the- the the. That's a suit by that. Rebecca, Rebecca Cruz, remember? Terry, Terry Cruz's wife. wife. That suit looked amazing on you, yeah, Kim. You looked that on us. So beautiful, your hair, and then you and see Mickey look great because she had on all black and you had the white with the black on. A beautiful, look like a couple. Look like a couple. Yep. Before you tell us how the image uh, award party after party was, and going, and I want you to tell the story of going to pick up the image award. Um, I need to say a, a couple things to our fans, our listeners, and our viewers because Kim, I made the comment I was really tired when we did the podcast last week, and um, I said that. I was too tired to go pick up the image award and I was going to send my assistant to pick up the image award. And I got a lot of people were not happy with me saying that. Um, so it says, let me, let me read a couple comments and then we'll, we'll address okay. Lavonda Johnson said, Sherry asked the fans to, and we did. Now she has no follow through to get the award. Please. We took time to vote because we enjoy the podcast. Thank you so much. Sherry seems ungrateful and that's disappointing as a fan. Sherry needs to do better. Tiffany F says, Sherry is giving ungrateful. Taurus Goddess 444 said, how you want to win an award, then you don't want to pick it up. I would be ready, dressed, and first in line. Um, Linda White says, send your assistant to pick up an award. Really, Sherry? You want to lose next year? Um, uh, and then let me see. I just I just wanted to get out because I wanted, I had wanted to address, was there anybody else? Um it says, Katina Cowan said, I love the show, but Sherry wasn't too excited about, excited about getting an NAACP award. I guess you're getting your own talk show, get, giving you a big head. Oh. Riri oh. uh, T, T said, what's wrong with Sherry tonight? She seems irritated. She's being mean to Chris. Well, that's always. Uh, saying he's wow. not deserving <laughs> of a statue. I think Chris played a big part in the success of TFM. Um, let me see. So I, uh, one lady said I was embarrassed. So I, I just want to say, first of all, I do want to apologize to our fans and listeners. If it appeared that I was irritated and was being ungrateful, cause I'm really 
the truth of the matter is I'm so excited that we won an NAACP image award. It's a Jeez. hard award to get. It really, really is. Um, the one thing I do have to say is if you would give me a little bit of grace because that week I have been taping Wendy Williams show. And as Kim can testify, it is a very hard show to do and not complaining, but it's a lot of parts and a lot of mental stuff. And by the time we were doing it, it was around eight or something my time because we did a live and I was really tired and I was holding the light, the hotel light above my head the entire time. Oh. Y'all remember that? So that I could have light. And I was in, hadn't eaten, was a little cranky. And I get cranky with Kim because we've known each other for over 20 years. So we know that our crankiness and shortness with each other doesn't mean the end of our friendship. We, this, you know, Chris already know I'm cranky because he get right. it every week. But I, I but find I, it to be charming. I know you do because <laughs> you like a boss. <laughs> but I just want to say, <laughs> if y'all could extend a little grace. And so, you know, when I say, when Kim said to me, it wasn't the NAACP Image Awards show. It was just we were going to the table to pick up the award. And so I was tired and I do, we both have assistants. Chris has an assistant. Well, I don't know. Chris probably does it himself because I don't know. But Dang, we both Dang. have, <laughs> I'll just be over. But I love Chris so much. Um, we both have don't assistants. Don't love him too much. I get first dips, but go ahead. Yeah, but we still don't get no, we don't get no love discount. I do want to let but you know. Yeah, you, you, you right about that. Oh. You don't be giving us less because oh. we love him. Right, right. <laughs> Since I love y'all so much, let me take off a couple thousand. Oh, but boy. My assistant, um, I, th this is what I pay her for. My assistant does a lot of stuff that I cannot do or I'm too tired to do or when I got to be with Jeffrey. So I do want to say if y'all, if, if people felt that I was being ungrateful or not showing enough, you know, um, what do you call it? Gratefulness or thankfulness, please forgive me. Cause I am, I am very excited that we won this award. Now I do want Kim to talk about, she actually went and, uh, she went and picked up both of our image awards. So Kim, I want you to take the floor and tell didn't us how. Didn't we talk about was. this already? Chris, didn't we talk about this already? No, no. not on the podcast. No, we haven't. No. You just did this Saturday. Yeah, you picked it up Saturday, oh. Kim. No, Kim, let, we talked. Let me tell y'all how tired I am then. <laughs> okay, now is that our image award, Kim? Okay, so, we're, okay. Break it down. You look What's your you question look beautiful. Again? Okay. I want you to tell the listeners because they a lot of people felt that I was ungrateful because I didn't go and pick up All the right, image. Let me just go ahead. Right, right. We did talk to but me okay. and you talked about this here. Yes. Okay, y'all. Let tell. me explain something to you. you. Paint the picture. So my my dear she, yeah. So look at this. Look at this. We're talking about suited and booted, the outfit right here for the listeners. I got on the white suit, cream suit. Uh, from Rebecca Cruz, fly right, got my hair done, boom, Angie, hairstyles. Then I got my makeup done, Gabby did my makeup. All this, did you have to uh, pay for it? Yolanda, did you, yeah, to, all, did you? for this. Yolanda came over from Flutter Design, pulled the suit on me, you know, everything. Now, I'm not going to tell you all how much all that costs, but let me tell you something, just naming it sounds expensive, right? The only thing that wasn't expensive probably that little raggedy tank top I pulled out. But I even got Simone Smith's jewelry on, you know, sis, uh, my girl. Uh, so let me tell y'all, I did all that. Excited. We hit the red carpet, you know, missed, of course, the red carpet. But we get there. We try to find, I said, where is the trophy room? Look at me. I was like, where? And I'm coming. Okay. I, okay. So look, I'm looking. Stop playing with the picture. Who's doing that? Okay. That's Chris. Do you want it up or would you, do you, do you want it yeah, up? That's why we can win the Image Award for best sound, best focus, <laughs> best, lighting, best, Chris, best lighting. We could have had more. Yeah. I we could have had more. Okay. My mistake. So, right. so do you want the photo up? Put the photo up for a little bit so everybody can see how um, they are Make holding the small. statue. Listeners, okay. I'm holding the statue. I'm in the, the, I'm in the trophy room. As you can see, the trophies behind me. I go up, there's that table right there, over there to my, uh, whatever that is, the right, left, whatever that is. Uh, 
is the, the where you got to go. They got the computer. I walk up. They were like, can you please just fill this out for your trophy? And I put my name in and everything and, and the category and everybody's coming in out and congratulate me, the president in their lovely CP. And then all of a sudden the lady was like, um, can you come here for a minute? Excuse, can you come in? The lady behind the desk, I said, I said, well, it's not ready. They didn't engrave it. Well, she said, um, it's not here. I said, what? what do you mean? It's like, I said, is Sherry's the here? They were like, no. I said, mm. y'all told me and my assistant and my agents and everybody you sent letters and said to come and pick up <laughs> the statue. <laughs> Now I could look. I was like this. I could have sent my assistant. <laughs> See now everything you saying. I went through all this because they got photographers from yin yang to ding dang. When I came in, they're gonna be clicking it, clicking it, clicking in your pictures. I'm walking in to get my award. So if you look at this picture, everybody, you see my giant hand over the bottom of the statue because the lady was like, "You can take a picture of it." but cover up the name because somebody else's statue was there. Everybody's statues, not everybody, but she's like, we can mail it to you. I said, but y'all told me to pick it up. And she was like, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. So, and I would like to I, say, you know, if I had walked in there with you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You would have lit that place up and we'd have never got another award ever again. <laughs> So I just want to say to listeners and fans, y'all should be happy I didn't go down there and get that award. Please, please be happy that Sherry Shepard did not do hair, makeup, and get dressed and go down to that hotel to pick up her award. Let me tell y'all something. It would have been bad. It would have been bad. It was bad me calling her and telling her. She was like, what? What? I was like, oh, Lord, let me get off the phone with this girl. Yeah, so, so that is that, y'all. We're very grateful, but you know, we didn't, we don't have a, the trophy. They sent us a gorgeous box. Now that's even funny. I should have sent Chris the box. Oh my gosh, I wish I had my box. Just send me an empty box. <laughs> no, no, I can okay. go. No, wait, let me go get it. Let me go get the box. Okay, wait, should I go I... get mine? Yes, definitely. Yes, let's okay, let me get Chris, the box. Hold I wish I know what they sent us. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold wait for it. I'm well, Sherry and Kim have uh, walked out. It's the opportunity I've been looking for. I wanted to just dive into MMA and uh, straight white male comedy talk here on Two Funny Mamas. I know that's what you guys are expecting. A uh, couple things that we'll discuss. Upcoming UFC fight this weekend. Plus, we got uh, a new Jim Gaffigan special. Really looking forward to watching that this weekend. So, again, it's Chris Denman on Two Funny Mamas filling in. Finally, my dreams come true. The ladies walk away. It's my time to shine. I'll take your MMA and white male straight comic questions for the rest of the show. Oh, hey, Sherry. <laughs> Didn't see you there. How are you? And I got a piece of chicken. Okay, wait. Let me get my box. <laughs> get that... <laughs> Get off! No. You could have ate that off camera. <laughs> this is our NAACP Image Award box that we both got in the mail. It's got all kinds of goodies. Goodies uh, in it. Okay, let's see. I got. I don't know if you got this. I got what seems to be like a a T-shirt. Get up on that mic if you can, Sherry. Oh wow! What's what is that? What's on the T-shirt? It's a T-shirt of a, like a. Drawing from, I want to like say, an uh, it's artist D. Githuki. Beautiful. Oh, my wife. And then I got, we got some teas and coffee. Well, teas and coffee. Wait a minute. Little, oh, little, this uh, right here. Wait a minute. little more to the center, Sherry. Okay. To your we got right. from yeah. Nick House Gourmet Coffee Tea. Yeah, nice. I should have, oh, I should have had that this morning. So we got some tea. I'm going to make that right I now. So, and this so is excited. so pretty. Look at this. It's wait, so wait for pretty. me, Sherry. Okay, I'm not going to open it. <laughs> then we got our lovely NAACP Image Award. It's a certificate. Wait, mine's frozen. Okay, wait. No, it's not. You're good. There it is. Okay. That's it's incredible. It's a certificate. And, we got, and it was great because we got ready. You ready to open yours, Sherry? Okay, hold on I'm going to open yeah, mine right here, ready. Sherry Shepard. 
two, three. Sherry Shepard got a certificate to Kim Whitley. <laughs> and Kim Whitley got a certificate to say Sherry Shepard. Oh, that's so okay. great. When I opened this up, Chris, I was so excited. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like the official certificate. And I screamed to my assistant, Edie. I was like, girl, get the frame. We get ready to pay to get this frame. And I said, it says 53rd NAACP Image Awards proudly honors Kim Whitley. (laughs) And look, and they sent us a letter. Yeah. This your letter, but I got some chicken on it. Oh, you got chicken on my letter? Well, yeah, oh wait, don't letter- show the letter, Chris. Don't show the letter. It got her address, my address on there. Oh, it got my it got yeah, yours got my address on there. <laughs> yeah. So I got a letter to Kim Whitley. You got my letter to Sherry Shepard with some chicken grease on it. Damn yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. I got a little chicken on your letter. What do you mean sorry? You said it so quick. You got chicken grease on my letter that I'm gonna frame, Kim. I did, but just cut that part out. It's just a little piece of chicken. Well, I gotta cut my letter. You, your ch- your letter that I got addressed to Kim Whitley is nice and crisp and clean. You this is hysterical. I need to. I'm gonna drop this off today. Yeah, I'm dropping yours off today because I need. I'm dropping Frida Payne's uh, stuff off because you need to sign it. Oh, so Edie's my gonna gosh. bring it up. I know we still haven't got the book. If I get one more email, this, people think I'm a liar. People think okay, I'm. Okay, I just want to think- say Chris is not a liar. I've had Frida Payne's books and CDs for the last uh, two years, and I've got to <laughs> drop it off to Kim. So they, I've signed them. Now Kim has to sign them. Hey, I'll just come over and sign them. them. I'll just come bring this and come over and sign them. No, because I'm not gonna be here because I got to uh, present Jennifer Hudson this award. So I'm gonna be gone. So oh, Edie's oh, gonna oh. drop it off to you. Okay. What do you, so anyway, I got sorry. Kim Whitley's. I got Kim Whitley's. That's so uh, funny. I just have to say, we do thank the NAACP Image Awards. I do have to say it was a letdown not to see my name. <laughs> it was quite so hilarious. Great. That's so, so great. So that was, that's our Image it's Award. And we're, and we're going to have a, you know what, Kim, you know what we should do? Kim and I are talking about. Uh, Niecy Nash had a party at this a wine bar celebrating her mm-hmm. and her wife's historic cover on Essence magazine. Wh- why are you right. eating chicken? Why because the fans t- like me to eat chicken. No, they, uh, you do. You read the comments. What <laughs> fan has told you that they like you eating chicken on the podcast? I would really like. I want you to call them out and name them. Because if I you name me a name, I'm sending them a free coffee mug with some okay, chicken in. You're right. Okay. <laughs> she don't care. So uh, they so celebrated great. a historic uh, cover because it's a historic cover to a uh, same sex couple on the cover of Essence. It's Niecy Nash and her wife, Jessica Betts. And so she had this uh, celebration at this wine bar that Kim and I were at. And I should have sent you a picture, Chris. It was so beautiful. Yeah. And uh, I am going to, as a matter of fact, I am going to send you a picture, Chris. So do you know it, the name of it? Oh, okay. It's if you have the picture, 10, that's fine. It's called 1010 Wine Bar um, and Events. And it was so pretty. Where's the, where's the one with Kim? I must have got mad at her and deleted it. I'm so upset. Kim, you know, sometimes Kim makes me mad. And so... Uh, yeah, that, all the time. She got I'm mad when I walked in the party. Because I was trying to eat her cake. And she wasn't supposed to have no cake. I was trying to save her waistline for her new show. Let me tell you something about uh, Kim, Chris. Niecy Nash has the party. It's a brunch from two to five. Guess what time Kim walks in <laughs> the brunch? Five o'clock. Probably about, about no, about five thirty. Talking about oh, it's mm. still on. It's still on. Mm. Uh, walked in the brunch that day. Going late. Now, of course, a lot of people had left, but there still was a lot of people. You know, we just like to stay and party. Niecy I and just the COVID to get out of there. Niecy and, things, and just sorry. Go ahead, Sherry. She, they're signing. They're signing their the magazines, and Kim walks in like it's one thirty. Okay. Well, wait, let's so talk about everybody, that. Everybody so got I get a magazine. Day. I get them to sign it. Guess who ends up with the magazine? Sherry. I don't have. I one. Get, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the picture. The picture of us. I don't know. Somebody sent it to me, but I don't know who oh. sent it to me. The one of us with Nisi. Do you have it on your phone, Kim? And it's yeah. like number ten, number ten wine. Yeah, it's, it's 1010 Wine and Events. Right. Kim, I found stop the it. Is, is she getting the phone while we're talking? Hello? Oh, boy. I swear things never change. Oh. They Hold never. It's, it's the grocery delivery. Hold on. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> I just want to. Oh, let I, me see if I can find it. I bet they put something on their Instagram. No, well, I'll send you. 
See Mickey got it. What? See Mickey got it. The picture of Jessica and you and me, and I think oh, Keita I was. I thought you would have found it by now. I thought you would have well, found it. I got the, I got, I got the one with the, with the owners of the, of the wine bar. No, but I, I can't got the find picture. It. I got the picture right here. The picture of us got... with Nisi. Somehow uh, I don't have. Oh, here's Nisi. Oh, they have, have a video. Hang on, they have it's it on their. Uh, they have it on their Instagram. Here, I got a photo with. Okay, you got it. You got it. I'll put it up. Look at Chris. That's why Chris gets a statue. That's why Chris gets what? a statue. Oh, Chris, let me tell you. Wait, Wait a what? minute. You just gonna do it like that, Chris? Okay. Well, let's do it let me, the right way. <laughs> let's let me <laughs> let me get this photo that uh, okay, get that the they photo have. First now it's just it's it's, it's the owner. It looks like what would probably be the owners and you two, and then they have a Look video. At you drinking your water. Look at you drinking your water. Good girl. So we won't have. They're just sharing shepherds, right? I can't breathe because I keep eating. Because I've been really, I've had a lot of anxiety in my life and I've gained weight and I was really I'm sorry, depressed. I'm not teasing you. you were teasing me and that's in your, you're sherry shaming me. That's what you're doing. You're sherry shaming me. And uh, okay, I was funny. really depressed no. and I, I was talking to Kim and I was telling her how much anxiety I, I was going through and I hadn't got over the death of my Labrador, Ashley. And I was eaten and it was getting out of control. And now you see how she sherry shames me. But the good part after the shaming, Kim said, I have to, you know, get, get back to drinking my water. So she had me order this from Amazon guys. This is and Kim has one too. Hold up yours, Kim. This is 64 ounces of water and it's really easy to carry around. Cause it's got Cause a it has handle. This little handle. It's got a little handle, and you can throw it in your car as long as it's closed. And you got your water all day. Sixty-four ounces of water. Now, really, the the, the mathematical uh, thing should be: you should be drinking half your body weight in water. So for me, I need more than sixty-four ounces because I am one hundred and sixty-two pounds. I have, so I got to get back down. I got to go back Who down. Who says their down. weight on our podcast? And then that now the people expecting me to say mine. No <laughs> money. You don't I'm sorry. Like that. Well, what, here's the thing. I used to tease you because you said you lost 30 pounds and I said I lost 31. So now you could be happy that I gained uh, a bunch of it back because I got to get back no, to my program. I ain't happy because I didn't gain 10 pounds back, so... Okay, well, I'm there you go. So we, we, we on an even playing okay, field. But I'm going to send this to... This water uh, bottle, guys, if you look up water bottle on Amazon.com, this is really great. I've been drinking out of it all day and carrying it everywhere I go. And Kim Whitley told me to get it. So it's really cute. It comes in a whole bunch of colors, which I like. So we got that. Did you get the picture, because, Chris? You know, being a WW ambassador, what I have That's learned is... Even when you mess up, say you eat some cake or you fall off or you have a weekend like I had, uh, you um, tend, you have, if you drink the water, it will catch it. I'm telling you, the water will flush it out. It really water, helps. I, I, I cannot, you know, and I, I am in agreement with you. I cannot say enough about water. That's all I drink. Water does, it has so many benefits. It softens your skin. It literally, um, if you have like dark circles and puffy stuff, water will flush those toxins out. Water has, um, it gives you a lot of energy and it's just flushing out those toxins. It's so many, it's so many great benefits to drinking water, but I'm glad that you had me get this, Kim, because it, it's really great. Now this picture is Kim and Kim looks so good uh, in this pink dress. These are the two owners of 1010 Wine and Events. And this is me. In and Inglewood. I don't know how we both in Inglewood. I don't know. We wore, we wore the same color, kind of. We were both in our pinks. But um, you looked beautiful, I have to say. Kim, look, how long you had this hair on? <laughs> Let me it tell is, you but, why. Because Angie, for the, NW, for the Image Award, she put that got to be glue on my forehead. Really, Chris, you're going to show both pictures. Oh, she, did you put the Gorilla Glue was, on your hair? You got the Gorilla I Glue? I couldn't get it off. So I don't know how bald I am. So last night I put some oil on. She was like, put some conditioner. I said, why you glue it to my forehead? Don't, I already got a bad uh, situation, girl. So then it was caught on one, some of the hair. It was a mess. So I just got it off. So this this dress is Caroline Ray's dress. It was- Oh, that's Caroline. 
It was in her closet. And you know, Caroline got a spending problem. Yeah, I'm dropping some tea. She buys, she loves to shop. So I just go over her house and she'll be like, I said, oh, this is pretty. She was like, you can have it. I'm telling you, every time I go over, because she knows guys, so much. Does this sound like a recurring theme with the way Kim does people? She goes so over no, people's house. Doesn't this sound like a story about Sherry? She goes oh. over to Sherry's house and goes, ooh, this is cute. But she don't say it to me. She said it in her mind. And then her mind answers it back. Go ahead. You want it? Take it. Okay. I only took the blue dress because you got a spending problem, too. Both of y'all mm -hmm. got problems. Y'all shop and then you say, uh, and so I'm there to help y'all out. Okay, this is a <laughs> this is a picture of Nisi, uh, me, Kelle, Nisi's sister, and Nisi and her wife Jessica. So that was at the we were at the brunch, yeah, and this is literally. Cool. I'm surprised Nisi uh, and Jessica was still there because Kim got there so damn late. This was like, and there go the like, magazine. See the magazine on the table. Like, for, the we're looking at a, our listeners. We're looking at a, a a picture of all of us at the brunch, and they look so. They are so happy. And, yeah, when uh, I tell you, Jessica and Nancy, they are very happy and they did the cover of Essence magazine. So that's what we were celebrating. So what I was saying about that, uh, and it was a beautiful, beautiful celebration. What I was saying about that was Kim and I want to throw a celebration that we won an NAACP Image Award. We trying to ride this so we can't ride it no more. <laughs> People, well, that's in the title of the podcast for the rest of it. This is of its existence. For the rest, That's of the time, you did. So we're so we're uh, we're talking about having a celebration of our you know uh, award win. And Kim, don't you think it'd be cool to have like maybe two fans, two lucky fans, to win to be able to come to the party and celebrate oh, with us? Oh, that's a good idea. But as long as it's taking you to get my girl's book and stuff out and the wig to the other lady, no, oh, I don't. Idea. We're gonna Here's be like, um, hey Caroline six six seven two. The party was last year, but if you still want to come hang out with me and Kim. <laughs> Tell you yes. what. Here's here's what, what I think. Here's what I think should happen. I think you should uh, delegate, as you were speaking to the importance of that, to one Chris Denman, who's okay. part of uh, the NAACP Image Award winning uh, podcast yes. Two Funny Mamas. And we'll we'll parlay it. We'll put it together. Celebrate a hundred episodes. Celebrate the award and celebrate all the fans. And we could do something really special if you just give me a little bit of notice. We can make so, it okay. Happen. So we'll talk about how we're going to do this contest because we we should maybe like two people uh, get to be the lucky winners. But we got to talk about some you know expenses and stuff. So we'll talk about that. So we're going to give it. Uh, uh, we're going to have a party, and we would like two very special podcast viewer and listener so maybe it's like somebody who's been listening from the very beginning i don't know uh but, our viewer, but our fans are such that they've kim they've gone back and and looked at our podcast from the very first so i i think our fans no, i have love our fans because our fans are honest they talk about us like a dog and then they lift us up it cracks me up they lift us up they get so mad at us um but they they stick in there we have very few fans and we are so grateful that actually leave. You know, they say, we have a couple that say, I'm gonna unfollow, but then I'll see them coming next week. I'm like, you can't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> we are thankful. But Chris, we did not want to forget you. So anyway, this wait. is what happened. What? Oh, okay. So wait, what are you about to tell? About the, M the NAACP Image Award. We got, how many did we get? Uh, well, ask me what I was doing Saturday night. <laughs> wait. Before we ask you, Kim, how many image awards did we receive? Oh, you mean like the statues? Statues. I was going to tell the story, can I? Oh, oh, yeah. We have no statues. You told, we just told the story. No, not that. Okay, if you don't stop putting up that picture, because now I got to blow my head. <laughs> okay. We had, what, but what happened, Chris, was the NAACP Image Awards Committee, they gave us three awards. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And Kim calls me. And she says, yeah. Sherry, we have three awards. So we have a third award. Who do you think we should give this award to? I said, let's uh, take a vote. Let's take a vote. Because we have many people that helped us put this show together. You guys know David Arnold. You guys know Andre. You guys know <laughs> B-flat. You guys know C. Mickey. You know, you guys know we got, everybody. We got people behind the scenes. That you guys Coco, know Leo, Mocha, Coco. Grace. 
We yeah. got uh, Mocha Radio. You know, they we were submitted by um, Sheila Eldridge. Sheila. At Mocha Radio. Big shout out to Sheila. I love Sheila. Big shout Sheila out to Eldridge. Sheila Eldridge. And Ajani. Ajani also does works with Sheila. Yeah. And Ajani. And so when you guys hear the commercials, the ads, because Kim and I don't hear the ads. We could be doing condiment. I don't know what, what kind of ads we'd be doing. But when you hear the ads, that's uh, stuff that Sheila Eldridge, they go out and they procure those, you know, advertisers for us. And so we have this third award and, and Kim was like, Sherry, who do we give it to? And who did I say? And this is, I want this, I want a drum roll right now. Cause I almost <laughs> fell out on the floor. Drum roll. I, and she, without hesitation, she said, Chris. Thank I you. Said, I said, I said, what you said? Is there static? And Chris, then I, Chris Spencer? Does he have like an executive producer <laughs> thing? And I don't know about I said, Dylan me. at Mid Coast Media, I said, I said, and I was like, I was going to say Chris too. So I guess yeah. it's unanimous. Then we Chris. called and it was the shenanigans now after that. All over again. Careful. I was so mad at Chris. I was like, damn it. Oh, you don't even know. We had to type it in. He was like, well, can you put on the award the best ever, uh, funniest? <laughs> I oh, y'all think I'm out. bad. This one here <laughs> with the demands on what he want on the NAACP Image Award. And what exactly. did I say? We, we settled on Mid Coast Media. But I did. I did definitely talk a bunch of shit because I may have had a couple bottles of wine. I may have, <laughs> I may have been watching, I was watching a UFC card and I was just humming along on a Saturday night. Well, you deserve the NAACP Image Award because you're such a, a wonderful presence and the, our viewers and our fans, they love you, Chris, and we're happy to share yeah. our because NAACP. you do a lot of work. And he does yeah, a lot, a lot work. of work. Yeah, for you us. You be messing up this sound, though. This sound. We could have had to. What be happening? We could have had to. That focus be off. You know, we could have won best focus, best sound. We didn't even get nominated. Listen, then you you two are the best. I love working with you. I can't believe we've been doing this for almost a hundred episodes. But like, <laughs> key, you hear us talk about Key or other engineers and people like that. And then Beth, my business partner, she curates the YouTube channel to make sure that everything's running right. John, my business partner, does your your merchandise and helps with other stuff. It's a it's a whole team over here. So absolutely, I get to do the fun part and get on here and talk smack with you all. And uh, I get to take phone calls from you all, all the time, all the time and chase you and schedule you and all that stuff. But Midcoast Media, definitely so proud to be a part of it. And thank you well, very so much. I really do have, appreciate it. I was giddy. Giddy is, I, I don't know. Yeah, I was. Do you have any awards that you will place ours next to? <clears throat> we do. We have a few, few different things, and but yours okay. will be prominently displayed. We're getting a, we're moving to a different office in uh, like a month and it's going to be oh buddy it is just going right. to get, be careful get though big, uh, get a big poster with kim and i our face on there no, how yeah. about that we got to do you a photo what? shoot when the three of us are in the same geographical no, location what are you talking about the, the oh. poster with kim and oh Sherry. sure sure it's two funny mamas so they know always did you hear him say a photo shoot he always goes too far he, you know, no, Chris is Diddy. You know how Diddy be in everybody's song? He, and he yeah. just be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, his, that's his nickname, Diddy. Don't even, damn it, Sugar Chris Knight, up on, the, up on the stand. Yeah. You that's know what your producer, song. up you in all your videos. With those I'm mustard gonna... pants on. Oh, yes, Chris. <laughs> I want to I wanna make sure, uh, you know, when I had that pink dress on, I, I didn't get a chance to tell you, Sherry, uh, that day, uh, my family, and friends, you know, Boutte and Val and Angela and everybody had a brunch for me down at the Ritz Carlton to honor me for the Image Award. So that's why I came, I had my little, uh, at, but before that, I had gone to church with, um, uh, you know, Leah Pump and the Pump Brothers. And uh, let me tell you something. What was I looking up? Wait a minute. I was looking Wait, up. Oh, did you go to French church that Sunday to to cleanse your Atlanta trip? Did, did that kind of get kind of wild? Like, did you feel guilty that you were out there? What? See what happens? See what happens, Sherry? Yeah, take a sip of water, Sherry. Take we'll, a sip of we'll water pot. I, I'm just, yeah, I was, you know, cause that brunch at the Ritz was fun. I had such a great time. And I oh. thank uh, Boutte and everybody <laughs> for inviting me. 
uh, to I thought celebrate about that your when win. They, when they no, when I thought when they invited, I was like, but Sherry, this is the thing. I was like, Sherry ain't gonna want to be with my family for her award, and you ain't gonna get up. It was we had to be there at nine a.m. At, but wait, first I had to be there not not for the thing for nine o'clock. Wait, let me see. I had to go. Uh, Leah Pump said um, she wanted to um, honor me at her church, right? And the church, the pastor, doc, I mean, Dr. Williams was fantastic. fantastic. I'm looking for his, but it, I wasn't the only one. It was McCoy Memorial Baptist Church in Los Angeles. But it was this doctor. It was the basketball player, the mayor of Inglewood. When I tell you, it was just a fantastic group. And Sean Robinson should have had everybody's name. But... They gave me this, Leah Pump, they gave me this beautiful glass award and this beautiful For what? Flag for Black History Month, for being, you know, helping the community and just being an outstanding person, I believe. And when so, did all this happen? Did you was an outstanding was, person? See, this is what I'm talking about. But this is not, the, this, <laughs> see how, see, now you know you're going to get a comment. But wait a minute, that ain't the funny part. Val and Wendell came with me and Joshua. We got the award. We walk outside and the award slips out of Val's hands. She broke it? In the parking lot in front of all the church people. I, I And then you look at her face. She was like, uh, 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 uh. She was like, I'm so sorry. And the man just brought the broom, swept up the award. Joshua was like, dang. Broke the award, so I just wanted to make sure you, you think knew that. There's something spiritual behind the fact that you got this award at a church and that it broke in the parking lot. I'm just saying, no. look for the spirit. Look that the was bad. Uh, it was slipped out. But wait, I also got to say this. You know, you said you you had a hard out. You still running your mouth. That's why you got a new talk show. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Friendship School in D.C. because I was supposed to be on a call with them. 15 minutes ago, but uh, friendship, uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I am going to be calling you in a minute. That's all. I want to get everything out. That's all. Okay, so I'm going to say this because I have to get off to, I want to I want to show this really quickly because we haven't uh, highlighted a black business. And oh, yeah, let's do the black business. Remember when we did the comedy club and I had this bag? I love that bag. Hey, Chris, put it on the big screen. Put it on one, just one. Okay, yeah, this is this the bag. It's a really beautiful bag with beautiful black women. And I have, I met them at a, at a, a conference. Chris, I'm going to do it. Businesses. And this is the red bag. This is the red bag uh, right here. Show the blue one again. Show the blue one. Show the blue one. And it's by a business, you, uh, a black owned business called Pardon My Fro. And it's What's it called? Pardon My Fro? Pardon My Fro. P A R D O N M Y R F R O dot com. Pardon my fro. You can put the pictures up there, Chris. Um, and so they're a black owned business and they make these gorgeous, gorgeous carry bags, you know, where you can carry the carpet bags. Yeah, so this is the model that they had in New York. And is there any more pictures, Chris, of the bags? This is what the bag looks like. It's so fly. And it's, it's very roomy. I carry, when I have to carry eight or nine wigs to work to Dish Nation, I will use this. I use this bag when I have to put all of my sports equipment or when I go to the skating rink, my skates. And um, it's really a versatile bag. So they were so sweet at pardonmyfro.com that they sent a bag for Kim. Uh, oh, she was, oh, yeah, they did. oh, like my, my, my box. I haven't gotten it. Okay. Yeah, and you're not going to get this back because I'm still... First of all, why wasn't I at the daggone celebration for you? I know your first family. All, I know your friends. I will... You take the picture down because she ain't getting the bag from Pardon My Fro. Pardon My Fro, uh, y'all go to their website and support Black Business. You know what? They go have, ahead. A, oh, I just wanted to show. And then they, they sent a calendar for you, Kim. It's beautiful. Look at that beautiful black lady. It's a Look twenty. Tw it's a My twenty twenty. Um, it's a twenty twenty two calendar that they sent to you, twenty twenty two, and it's got all of these beautiful. Oh, I love it. Black women, and that's part in my fro. And I don't even know if I want to give you that because I still want to know why I wasn't at the event celebrating your Image Award win for the podcast. Oh. 
with Sherry uh-huh. Shepard. Okay. Yeah, who who put this? I bet you it was Window. I bet you it was no. Window. I love Window. window. Is, he, is, is he as fun in real life as he seems? He's a oh riot. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's oh my gosh. a riot. Yes. <laughs> Wendell is a riot. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so tell the tell the organizer of the function that celebrated your NAACP Image Award win for the podcast with Sherry Shepard called Two Funny Mamas. Tell them <laughs> I, I I thank you. I don't. I guess the invite got I lost in the mail. Uh, but tell them thank you for the invite yes, that I did. That's good. Yeah. Did you finish your water? N- not, not even. I got to use the bathroom now. Mm-hmm. So I am going to say, uh, I, I we're going to have to talk about uh, Atlanta in a little bit. But I do want to say, y'all, Kim Whitley and Finesse Mitchell, they will be on the Wendy Williams yes. show uh, oh, next week. Right now, it's Michael Rappaport finishing it up. But Starting this- March seventh. Starting March 7th through March 11th, it will be hosted by Kim Whitley and Finesse Mitchell. If you want to get tickets to be in the live studio audience, you know they lifted the mask mandate. So I don't know if the audience will have masks on so you'll be able to see their face. And you will be in front of a live audience, Kim, which is amazing. No, so I'm afraid that, now. This will be an nope. audience. It's, this is what you do and what you were born to do. You will have a live audience, and I don't know if they're going to have masks on, which is better. Um, if you want to be a part of the live studio audience to see Kim and Finesse, then go to wendyshow.com and then go get the purchase. Get You don't have to purchase. The tickets are free, but you can only get one ticket. So if you want your family to go, your girlfriends and them, everybody's got to sign on themselves to get a ticket. You have to have, you have to be vaccinated and you have to show proof of your vaccination status. So um, I'm so excited. I got to post it on my Instagram that my friend is co-hosting. And everybody is saying, Kim, on our comments, they want you to do it by yourself. Like they want Finesse to do it by himself and they want you to do it by yourself because you can, you can do that. Why can't I do it with you? Huh? Uh, because I don't need the backlash of America going, why Sherry irritated? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I, don't, I can't handle all of that because you're going to do something you something in the middle of it this you're you gonna be rocking back and forth and they're gonna be like america gonna be wondering why is she picking on kim nonstop, and they don't know our relationship and then deb mar- our relationship. deb mar mercury gonna call me in the room and they're gonna be like what's going on but i do i do want us to be together on mother's day for wendy like that week of mother's day Okay, so that's we need hard. to put that now so when they so the agents won't be like, you can't I'ma tell Siobhan the week of Mother's Day, I'm going over there. And we get a lot I, to I, celebrate. I, I, I think that would be the anniversary of Two Funny Mamas. Like that would be our third year doing the wow. podcast. That's right, because we started on Mother's Day. I'm gonna wear a prostitution outfit. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, oh you mean your bridesmaid's dress that you oh. wore to my wedding? The process. I was now. single then. I'm still oh, single. Oh, you What was that? Did she slip there, Jerry? No, there oh. wasn't no slip, Chris. I'm still single. <laughs> well, I, I, hate it, Chris. I got a uh, Latrice is waiting for me because I have to present. Gen- oh, Jennifer Hudson has a talk show. It will yeah, be so coming out. Yeah. So What's the award? Uh, she's getting the award at the uh, for best supporting actress. It's like at uh, AAFCS Awards for her role in uh, respect, but I want to congratulate, we congratulate Jennifer Hudson on her talk show debut on Fox, same channel I'm gonna be on. I think healthy competition is amazing because Jennifer and I are so different, you know? And I think, you know, you got people who like Nikes, you got people who like- Jennifer don't know, you love competition. Jeez, I I love- Couple gals from Chicago. And we both from Chicago and I love competition and I love the fact that you see more than one black woman. You know, they only usually let one black woman have a talk show. You're going to see Tamron Hall. You're going to have Sherry and you're going to have Jennifer Hudson. And we're all on at different times. So not that I'm asking you all to sit and watch all three of us, but <laughs> I'm asking you to watch me, you know, but I love I, I, I just I love the fact that we're in this day and age, Kim, where it's just like you get to see three queens having a talk show. This is so amazing. So Jennifer Hudson is debuting around the same time that I am in September on Fox. We will be on at different times across the country. So congratulations, sis, and welcome to the block. And uh, and <laughs> now get ready, <laughs> girl. 
<laughs> you know what's funny? You know, but I can't sing. Jennifer can sing. Uh, she got that on you me. Can sing. But honey, I'm gonna bring them laughs. You better, you better, you better watch it now. Her uh, videographer is a guy I've known since I was like 19. By the way, it's oh, the wow. most random thing. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, that's what I want to say as far as that's, Wendy. There go, there, go, there go Diddy again. Go ahead, Diddy. <laughs> hey, can Diddy... Hey, when, you, when you're when you filling in on Wendy, Kim, with finesse, when you announced that, uh, just to remind people that Two Funny Mamas won an NAACP image, e, image award, can you flash a photo of me with uh, the Midcoast Media Trophy, please? I got it. I got it. <laughs> get I got me it. canceled. Just get me just canceled. I'm hoping... First of all, when did they say they was going to have the award? Because it sure would be nice for you to have it on the table with you. If not, can we get one of the awards they got laying around how and funny you take would, it? How funny so would it be if it I got it table? before you? It would be nice. <laughs> you better not get that award before we get our award. But, like, if you could just have the award sitting on the table. Because it's so... The story... You know, you they're called wig notes. That's because Wendy... It's a story it's about cool. you at the top. Because Wendy used to pull the notes out of her wig. And I think that's a very funny wig note about us not having our award. Um, but you're going to look beautiful. I'm so excited for you to be hosting. It's 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 next week, you guys. So this is on today, Thursday. Please set your DVRs all of the week of March 7th through March 11th. Kim Whitley will be hosting uh, Two Funny Mamas on the Wendy Williams Show. Right. Give me your how you doing. Go on, give it to me, girl. How you doing? Nope. Oh, okay. All right. You good. It's okay. Well, see, we'll see, see, for one week, I did it like this. How you doing? And that was all sexy. So now I got to find another way. I'm going to be like, how you, how you doing? Uh, uh. Oh, gosh. Nope, you okay? Are you all right? Why did you clap yourself? How you doing? How you doing? Okay. 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 How you doing? You're beautiful. And it's going to be I'm so gonna, much easier. I'm going to be like this. Yeah. How you doing? One no. more time. How you doing? No. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, you know, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> and if you want to do it sexy like that, you're going to have all kinds of men sliding in your DM with no fingers and teeth. I need somebody to slide on in. Chris cracking jokes on me. Well, you, everybody you've else. moved on, Kim. So no, I guess Chris, April's April's not going so down. I post a man on my Instagram and people trip because I, I don't never post men on my Instagram. Yeah. But oh, I do post it? men on my Instagram. I Love do post mm, Joshua no. doesn't count. Joshua, Rodney's been on there. Window, <laughs> other men I'm hanging Andre, out Andre, with. Andre. 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 Oh, by the way, Andre, I want to say something to Andre's mother, Sandy. Uh oh. Oh, mom's getting I want a call. To say out. To Andre's mother, Sandy. Uh, I we love Andre so much. Andre uh, was in Chicago uh, taking care of his dad. He hasn't been around lately, but we love Andre so much. Well, we and miss Sandy, him, and we miss Andre, and we've been friends so long. So we do this good-natured ribbing, but sometimes because Kim and I are so bossy. We boss Andre around. But let me let you know something about your son, Sandy. When Andre uh, has enough, he let us Ooh, know. If we fall so back nice. like we would believe. Andre don't play. When Andre, Andre says something and looks us in that eye and his head come up real slow, oh, we fall back, Sandy. Oh, we fall, we back. fall back. So <laughs> I don't want you to ever think, y'all, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, emasculating my son. No, we don't. Andre don't no. play. Andre, Andre holds his own. He's just very kind. He's very kind. And when he loves you, he has a lot more patience. But let me tell you something yeah. about the Andre Sandy. Andre be putting it down. He, you know, uh, Andre don't wait, play. Wait, wait, Take it wait, easy. Wait, don't know that. wait a minute. Putting down. What's that? What? No, I'm talking about Andy, Andy, don't listen to her. He don't be putting nothing down. Why would you tell his mama Andre because be putting it down? Who says you, that? You want to know your son put it down. Who do you know? Ain't put put nobody putting nothing down with Andre. Andre, oh. do put it down. Let me tell you something. How these do you women. know that? You know the amount of women that be up in his DMs? Oh my God, on okay. this phone. One time I peeked over his shoulder. Okay. One time, okay, I know our fans. Wait. You see that? What happened that? to your eye? I burned eye? myself. I burned myself. <laughs> Wait, I just want everybody to know, I didn't get hit in the eye. I burned myself, okay? Like I just want everybody to see. Him. What'd you burn yourself with? What'd you the burn yourself with? Oh, it fell so on it my fell face. on your eye? 
Yep. No, I think it happened when you slapped the crap out of yourself when you was going, how you doing? Okay. Maybe she had okay. a couple couple cocktails at the NAACP event when she was partying. I did. I have no, to I go. I had to go. To my Patrice is like, heifer, come on. I know. Yes. And I, yeah, I have to pay. Why do too? Talk. I got to go to talk to the Friendship School. I got a big event coming up. We love y'all. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for our uh, NAACP Image Award. Uh, we are very humbled. Uh, so you guys, thank I mean, you. Y'all, 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 y'all blessed us to win this award. And so we acknowledge that because we couldn't have done it without you guys voting for us. We're so yeah. very, very thankful to everybody. And, you know, we're not going, and sometimes we're not going to do stuff that y'all like. A lot of people, Kim said they like it unorganized and chaotic. This is why they watch it. We try. We got people who want to come on and we, you know, we about, we running by the seat of our pants. Poor Chris. He just tries to get us we in got, the studio. Get us in. We got Aerie Spears. We got to come. We got such a list. We got oh, such geez. a we got so many guests that want to come on, and we thank we want to thank publicly because the 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 uh, episode that was submitted to the NAACP award was the one with Wanda Sykes, Craig Shoemaker, Guy Tory, Russell Peters, which you went to Russell's wedding, it was amazing, and George Wallace. So we want to thank you guys publicly. We want to thank Lena Waithe for the flowers that she sent us for getting nominated, and the flowers yes. that she jeez the flowers that she sent after we won. So Lena Wade, uh, who is a uh, wrote Who's been 20 she's been listening since the beginning. She listens to our podcast and Kim is on her show, the twenties on BET. And uh-huh. we're so thankful because Lena has been uh, like a true fan. So these flowers are like amazing that she yes. sent us. So we just want to say thank you guys. And we're going to keep trying to keep this podcast going for you. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. And I'm going to say, I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye, everybody. We love you. Bye, everybody. We love you. God bless you. Is it all? Did he end it? Kim Froze. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.